We're replacing a turbo in it. This one has boost codes, insufficient boost. Turbo's already out. And we're gonna go check the play right now between the new and the old turbo. Okay, we have here the old turbo. Uh, as you can see, here's the uh, rod that's normally get this right over here. This play right here, let's see if I can get it. That's enough play to cause boost codes. And this is really wobbly right here. As you can see, that's moving. I move down to the new turbo. Zero play. Zero. Wastegate wobble, no issues. Everything's good here, no play on the turbine. Here you got play as well. Not as much though, but this is basically the issue. And there you have it, that's how you check the turbos for uh, play. And if they do have play, they're gonna you're always gonna have boost faults. And this is why you have to replace them with brand new units, because used units are not gonna be as good. As you can see, there's a stopper plate design that's been changed compared to the original one here. So uh, it has an adjustment now, which is kind of cool, but I don't think that's going to be ever an issue because since it wears out in here. Anyways, thanks for watching. This is Nick with Top Automotive.